Crystal got our next collection ready. What'd it feel like, Crystal? Pretty heavy, I don't know. Uh, probably more discs. Okay. I'd imagine. Probably some Game Boy stuff. Game Boy! Well, interesting. Oh, it literally says PS2 games. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Let's jump Way in. To spoil the surprise. What's going on, Hamza? The magic team is here. Oh, why would it say PS2 games if it's Xbox? I, I don't know. I'd see GameCube. I see a, a bunch of stuff of in here. PSP? And 64? Okay. Okay, so it's a it's a it's an all over. <laughs> a Dungeons and Dragons game. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. And it's sealed? No, it's not. I lied. Ooh. How do you think that would be if you're used to playing the tabletop game? Oh. Um, well, nothing's going to compare to the tabletop. Yeah, I hear you. It still looks like it's going to be really cool. Legends Untold. What's going on? Nordic Atari. Runes? Com. Interesting. What's up, Caleb? Dead or Alive Ultimate. Hmm. Weird cover art going on. Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate. Dead or Alive Extreme 2. Okay. Switches to a volleyball game yeah i was like they look very different dreamcast in here too prince albert saskatchewan nicole that's awesome how are you doing today the marine fishing game remember we had a fishing rod yeah what we did yeah we got a fishing rod on tuesday I dreamcast one i think because I, I, so. and i think they had a fishing game to go along with it i think so it was like a bass fishing game i think maybe shenwe soul caliber sir charles have you seen this one Crash Bash? I don't know if I've seen that before. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Antonio? We got DK all these shirts up on the website. Sonic Adventure? Could it have been this? Maybe. Look at the size Maybe, of that. yeah. Todd brings up a good point. If you guys enjoy watching unboxings like this, leave a like on the video. Let's Crystal and I know you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Talk about it. Interesting. Nova Scotia, Patrick. Hello. Dissidia, Monster Hunter. 64 stuff too. I love mixed boxes like this. Snap, Golden, Goldeneye, Perfect Dark. And Conquerors was in there. Looks good looking at all this. Crystal, can you investigate this thing? Frozen Yogurt Palace. Um, Some GameCube stuff here too. Trying to tell what it is by feeling it. But Anything? I think it's probably a PSP maybe? Oh, safe bet. Good idea, Crystal. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, wrong. Crystal, I haven't seen one in ages. I've never seen one. Okay. No. So, it, it, I happen to see these down here, so I'm going to jump to them straight ahead. Remember? Oh, you were telling me about So, this. it's normally a, a standalone system that plays TurboGrafx is games. Like it game? is. Oh, okay. okay. They're good. actually super rare. Um, it also has cool attachments. I haven't seen this in ages. So let me try popping a game in, Crystal. I, they slide down here in the back. Let me try this with Galaga. So I think it goes in this way and slides down here in the back. What a find! There it goes. It snaps right in. And uh, over here Looks is like where an attachment. Duplicate. What? It, what? Yeah. What do you have here? Sports. Or dine. I don't know much about these. Huh. Crystal, I don't see this stuff too often. Henry, um, Henry in our fan group has, I think, almost the full collection of Turbo Graphics stuff. He'd be oh. the expert. Keith Courage is one that I've seen before. Henry, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Vig Vigilante, Final Lap, Nerd Blasters. Any cool stuff amongst these, Henry? And and what do you know about the Turbo Express? It, it also has a, a TV tuner attachment that plugs in, so you can get tv on the thing this is a really interesting idea i kind of like it. i do too it, what, what like what case does it come in like was it like a box like the n64 no case? funny enough it was a cd like a ps1 case oh, okay. and then inside it just had a little clip that you would slide the game under and the games all came in a little plastic thingy huh. yeah what a really find like yeah, Henry, I can't believe Henry showed up, Todd. It's awesome. He's like, I heard my name. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't wait to get this fired up and check this out. This is one of those very rare systems I just see so occasionally back here. It looks like batteries load in. I don't know what battery life's on like is on this. Um, contrast, brightness, plug in headphones. That's awesome. Uh, and TV tuner, so I think you can output it to a TV too. So is this kind of like a console? You could probably run it on your TV? I think so. We're going to have to deep, do a deep dive into that, Crystal. Yeah. 
What a find. That and cool. that little case worked perfect for it, but yeah. clearly not the actual case. Yeah, it was very wrong with my guess. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Nice. Yo, Bobby, that is a crazy find. I can't believe it. That was an awesome one. Not a crash game. Sure does. We do ship to Canada, Patrick. Basically, the entire world. We ship to planet Earth. If you're here, we'll get you games. Parasite Eve. Yeah, Nick, that's what I'm thinking, too. If it's anything like the Game Gear with the games. Power Stone, another big one. So cool getting to see Dreamcast stuff. Um, some more GameCube, Resident Evil 4, the best one. Eternal Darkness. Crystal, this does weird stuff to your TV as you play. Like, it like shuts off the sound yeah, and stuff. Uh -huh, I think I've heard it. Uh -huh. Because like, your TV's not broken. Yeah. Um, Animal Crossing. We never get to see it with the memory card. Any chance. Oh, oh my. Oh, two? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yeah, that's neat. Because um, that's what the slot's for. It was supposed to come with this memory card with the little sticker on it, but it's never in there. There's two in this one. <laughs> this one was sandals. <laughs> yeah, Brady, unfortunately, we do not deliver to International Space Station or Moon, but that's <laughs> yet. I was like, as of yet. <laughs> uh-huh. Smash Melee, big GameCube oh, titles yeah. in here. Teddy, my favorite game, funny you ask, is an NES game called Little Nemo the Dream Master. I recommend you check it out. Mech Assault. Jedi Power Battles. What's up, Joseph? More Crash. Metal Gear Solid. Beginning of a long series. I don't know, I don't know too much. Well, I love Worms too, Ryan. Did we pass that? Was Worms in here? I don't even recall. <gasps> Crystal, it's another one of the Game Boy Player discs. Oh. <laughs> so cool. It's wow. it's funny how we won't see something for we'll a long time. A and then back to back to come in. And this one's, oh wow. Nice. 3DS. Here's a stack of 3DS stuff. Fantasy Life. Oh, I see. Do you I do crosswords? Pokemon. I do. Really? Pokemon Sun. Here's wow. a DS. Yeah, nice looking copy of Pokemon White. North Kakalaki. Where's that, Todd? North Kakalaki. Hamza, what's your favorite game? Zelda Spirit Tracks. Look at him down here. Eddie, let me quick to fill you in. I'm here with DKOldies.com. These are fresh game collections that just came into our retro gaming shop. They're going up onto our website as fast as we can get them. Dragon Quest. Metal Slug. This is one where it comes with the cardboard box around it. Not entirely sure why some do. It is really neat. I've never heard of Phantom Hourglass. Okay, yeah. It's one on the DS. I know it's pretty popular. I don't know a ton myself. Cool art style for him there, too. Let's see. Xbox stuff. Dead or Alive. Back to Beach vo Volleyball. Sims 2. <laughs> With the eye toy? What in the world can you use an eye toy with for Sims 2? I don't know. I'm intrigued, Crystal. Did you ever have an eye toy? I had an eye toy and I oh, really? Sims 2, but I didn't have an eye toy compatible Sims would 2. Would it be neat? I don't know what you would physically use it for. Um, Hamza says Zelda DS. All right, Hamza, good one. North Carolina, Todd? Really? Have you heard of that place, North Kakalaki? Sounds familiar. I think Todd's uh, making it up. Uh, a Vice City? Champions and a Kingdom Hearts crystal. I love. Yeah, rounded it out with a good one. All right, we got another collection.